continuing our coverage now of the theater shooting trial. Yusef Garbi joins us live in studio. He was shot inside of Theater 9 nearly three years ago to the day. So, relief? I mean, what, what, what emotions go through you when you see the verdict come down yesterday? Um, relief by hands down hits the spot, you know. Um, it's crazy. After three years, we yeah. finally hear what we want to hear. You know, he's guilty. He's being held accountable for the crimes he committed. And it's just awesome to know that that's how the jury felt. And, you know, the people spoke, and by all yeah. means, he was found guilty. You were just talking in the break, and I thought it was really poignant how you said you don't want to be defined by this. You don't want to be introduced as that guy. Mm -hmm. You want to move on. How has this changed in the last 16 hours, roughly? How have things changed for you? Um, not so much has changed. It's just been more like, like I said, the relief, you know. I can, like, literally put this behind me now and move on, you know. He's been found guilty, and now sentencing will go on. And then from there, you know, I live my life, you know. I can uh, find other achievements I succeed at, and I can make a name for myself. Whether it's the, uh, the verdict or the sentencing phase, you, you see James Holmes sitting there in court, breathing, alive, and 12 people didn't get that right. And uh, you nearly didn't get that right to be there. Does that frustrate you? Does that make you angry? I mean, that, for me, even someone that wasn't there, it frustrates me. Yeah, and, and I understand it is frustrating, but at the same time, uh, it's in the past. You know, yeah. what happened happened, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. So I, I try not to hold that anger in me because it just reflects on the type of person I am, you know. Put my best foot forward, and I'm trying to move on with a positive attitude. What do you think should happen to him? Um... I don't have any expectations. I don't want to be disappointed. Um, I, I know what the two options are, yeah. and uh, I know it's out of my control, so I'm kind of just waiting to see how it all plays out. And will you be watching closely as we move through this next oh, process? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. I, might even, I might even make the trip to the courthouse to you know, be there fully and give it all my attention. You've had the opportunity to look him in the eye. What, yes, what was that definitely. like? Um, he's, he's blank. He's, en he's an empty... He's an empty body. I don't even know if there's a soul in there, honestly. Uh, no expression, no emotion. I, I couldn't tell if he was sad, mad, happy, you know, frustrated that he was in the position he was in, yeah. um, completely blank. Did you want more than that? Yeah, you know, I, when I looked at him, I wanted to make sure I made a statement letting him know, like, what you did to me, you know, that's what you did, but it's not defining me as a person, and you're not holding me back from the rest of my life. But um, I didn't get any satisfaction out of looking at him. Hmm. Well, it's an honor to Thank have you, you here, yeah. and best wishes on so this much. new Thank start you so you're making, Yusef. Thank it. you so much. A big life ahead of you, which is uh, which is important, like yeah, you said. Just focus definitely. on what's next. It's 8:18 now. After months of speculation, TLC.